Hello, and it is a video on another BTC driver announcement. I had two driver announcements in one day today. Uh, first announcement was Glen Geddy is the second driver at Team Hard. Uh, I don't think the announcement of Glen Geddy as a driver for Team Hard is a surprise. Uh, I would have in the draw to be uh, one of their drivers for next season. He did very well at the end of last season, picked up a point to sell Snetterton. Uh, really uh, went up against Jack Goff really well in the VW. So good to see him there. I think it was just a bit of a surprise they suddenly came a bit out of the blue this morning. But yeah, to go and get the in at Team Hard, I think that's that's two solid drivers for Team Hard for next season now. Two good experienced drivers, good races. Will they will have to help develop that car well. I mean, it'll be interesting to see uh, who they bring in for the other two seats. I think it's really good they've gone with drivers that have worked with them in the past as well. I don't know if they've got quite a few drivers contacting them trying to get them seats now and they've got brand new cars. Um, but they've gone with drivers that have been loyal to them. I'm glad to see it now. Good luck to Glenn at the next season. Obviously, I'll be a team hard support, especially that Cooper, especially of, of Jack. But, uh, that's driver announcement number one. Driver announcement number two, we have uh, Jack Butel has announced that he is driving one of the Highlanders for the Accelerate uh, Trade Price Cars Racing Team. The Accelerate and Trade Price Cars this season now joins us once. There'll be four Highlanders this season. Jack Butel has announced that he will be the first driver to be announced for them. So it's an uh, interesting partnership how that works this season. Uh, Jack last season was his first uh, season in the championship. He didn't do that. Mercedes probably isn't the, uh, the easiest car to drive when it was quite aged, like the VW. Uh, and he's got a, a, basically a brand new car. It's only the second season into the championship. He did well last season. You can see his progress. If you see his progress throughout the uh, season one was hiring all season is an incredible record to have i'm sure the season with a bit more experience probably a better car as well be hoping to get further up the grid so you look for more points they probably really look to do a bit better in qualifying so other teams quite often be near the back in qualifying and then once you start at the back it's been difficult for drivers the season to uh gain places pushed away forwards get into the points and things like that but yeah that's uh so another driver answer really interesting to see who will partner Adam Morgan with BMW now I put up another seat. I think Butel is probably ones one of the ones I'd have put in there for that seat, but obviously he's not gonna take that now, he's gonna take accelerate. Uh but yeah, you know, overall I think I I, I think that Butel won me had a bit of a, a pre announcement that it was uh it was coming and he was gonna get uh announced his seat for this season. We imagine it was gonna be BTC BTCC. Uh, but that Glenn Geddy one coming up a bit out the blue, no team hard, uh, only announced he signed two drivers, they didn't say no pre-announcement for this one coming up today, just this morning about half eight I think it was, uh, announcing that Glenn Geddy had signed for them, I and I do think that is a great choice for them, I think Glenn Geddy is a great driver, and I think between him and Jack they'll develop that car very well, I'm excited to see who else will join up in those other two seats, so two more driver announcements there, Starting to fill up the grid now, now it's only been a, a few seats, but uh, it's good to get some BTCC news. It feels like, you know, it always feels like a, a transfer window and you get a bit, bit of news. I think this BTCC announcement might be actually more exciting than a transfer window. But yeah, two more drivers announced there. Look forward to maybe not get any more announcements before Christmas. Probably get them maybe some after Christmas, but hopefully get some more announcements soon. Uh, and thanks for watching.